Hey everyone, just wanted to uh, do a quick video. I found myself with some time on my hands and so I thought I would take some time to do a video. I uh, wanted to cover something very specific and that is Facebook and uh, using Facebook for your business to either market your business or to share information about your business. Uh, you know, let people know about pro your product or your service. Um, any any number of things that you may be using Facebook to uh, try to get information out. It's my guess that you have discovered over the actually the last couple of years, um, and certainly in in recent times, it's definitely the case that people are not seeing, um, at least not as many people are seeing your post because of the way the Facebook algorithm works. Now, some of you may be um, super savvy and already had a large following and so you don't have a problem with that because you've got good engagement. Engagement is really the key because engagement is what drives your reach. So engagement is your likes, your shares, your comments. Uh, the more you get of those, the more people are gonna see your post. So um, not a perfect science, obviously, but, uh, and this is not something I've discovered um, and the only one that has discovered it, but I do have a way, and I've been using it um, for about at least the last six months. A, I've implemented some technology using Facebook Messenger to basically ensure that the folks that I want to see my Facebook content, they'll see it. Now this is, since it's Facebook Messenger, it, people do have to opt into it. They basically have to subscribe to your Messenger um, page. It needs to be connected to a page. I don't want to get into all the technical details, so I'm just going to talk about what this process can do, and then we can get to the details if you're interested. But um, just to kind of really distill it down to something easy to talk about, uh, imagine a um, scenario where uh, you want to make sure that everyone that you're uh, engaged with on Facebook I'm talking about really in the business context where they could see your post, where they could see that you're going to have a training session, where they're going to see that you've got something time sensitive. Maybe you're doing a promotion. In many cases, people have posted promotions on their Facebook page, for example, or in their group, and it's time sensitive. And the crazy thing is, uh, potentially a large portion of your audience doesn't even see it until the promotion has expired. I don't even see it. So uh, people are under this, um, I think, misconception that, okay, if they like your page, they're gonna go to their uh, wall, their feed, and they're just gonna see everything that you posted. That's not the case. Uh, hasn't been the case for a while. Some people are coming around to that and understanding that that is the case. So uh, small, medium, large, doesn't matter how big your business is, uh, you can still have the same issue with regard to people are not seeing what you're posting and I can tell you from first-hand experience yes it's frustrating um, and the reality is I think the reality is for many of us you're not going to be able to force or shame or even incent your followers enough that you're going to get the organic engagement that you want it's just because of the way things are. I apologize for some of these noises that are uh, in the background. So uh, I'm going to try to summarize this so I can make sure it's clear what I'm trying to talk about. I have found a way, I'm not the only one, but I've found a way and have been using some technology, not expensive, not difficult, but I'm six months into it. Um, some people don't even know that it exists. So, you know, that's six months. I've learned a lot. Uh, basically discovered a way to be able to uh, do an end around if you want to think of it that way with regards to the Facebook algorithm so there's multiple approaches multiple different things that you would do in order to um, build up your engagement and and by doing so uh, also increasing your reach and then by doing taking these strategies then you can also begin to help with your organic uh, engagement and organic reach. So in other words, as you use this um, process, if you will, if you use this technique, 
then generally speaking, more and more people are going to start seeing your uh, post in their feed because the engagement and the reach is driving the organic traffic. So, um, if this interests you at all, if you have any questions about how you might be able to apply this to what you're doing on Facebook, just um, uh, leave just leave me a comment in the comment section. Just tell me what you're uh, looking to do, what questions you have, um, comments that you have. Maybe you've been doing something similar to this. By all means, share with uh, those that are going to be commenting here. Share with others what uh, what you found that works. So. Uh, this is just kind of like a, a public service announcement, if you will. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm really trying to push this out there so people know that there is um, there is some uh, possibilities, I guess, to, to be able to survive <laughs> in uh, in in this environment we're in right now with regards to Facebook. Now, this is not. I would say this is not a replacement to Facebook ads for those that are doing Facebook ads. I'm, this is really, I'm really not going to talk about that at all. Um, I've not worked with Facebook ads a lot at this point in time, so I don't have anything positive or negative to say about them. So I, I do know that a lot of people have not been successful with ads, uh, and, and a lot of that's probably based upon uh, their lack of experience with it because I know there are a lot of people that are very successful with ads. I've listened to some uh, experts in the in the space of using Facebook ads that would uh, tell you that they're underpriced, that ads right now are cheap compared to what they will be. Um, I was just listening the other day to someone that basically said, just wait until the large companies, large retail companies and, and that type of thing begin to start switching their, their, their large budgets for TV, print, radio, that type of thing, and switch it to Facebook. I mean, a lot of the big name brand companies are still using a lot of traditional marketing methods, and the theory, if you will, is when they start pouring their money into Facebook, Instagram, other platforms, Twitter, possibly others that may emerge, that the uh, cost of doing the ad will just skyrocket. And so the average entrepreneur will not have the, the money, really can't justify it anymore, and so this is the um, this is the time if you're doing ads. So again, I'm not going to really talk about that, but you can research that in another way or, or through other sources. I do not consider myself an expert there. I am learning, learning, trying to learn a whole lot more about that, but that's not my thing at this point in time. But, so that being said, if you want to... Um, experiment with, implement a uh, very inexpensive uh, process that would allow you to um, circumvent in many ways the Facebook algorithm, then yes, send me a comment, send me a PM, let's uh, blow this thing up. I'd love to see a lot of people engaging here. So I hope you have a great day or a great evening. I don't know when you're watching this. A great morning. Um, yeah, just let me know what you're thinking. All right, bye.